What up YouTube? This is how you drop a, a transmission on a E60 M5. This is for any year from 06 to 2010, right? We're gonna show you this quick, 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 step by step. So follow with me, all right? All right, y'all. So this is uh, we're gonna start off by taking off this little shield right here. It's a 16. You're welcome. These bolts come out fast. Oh yeah, watch the last one's gonna hit you in your head. Whole thing's gonna drop down, hit you in your head. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna drop this corner one over here. How many bolts are there? Well, I only keep five. It could be like up to like seven or eight. Who knows? But it's usually, <laughs> I think it's just these four. We've already done this once, as you can tell. Four. So, anyways, look what you're gonna do here. You're gonna get your arm a little dirty. You're gonna grab it right here so it doesn't drop on your head. And just drop it down. There's a little 10 mil bolt right here. You're gonna take that off. This is gonna drop this little rack with this little wiring. You disconnect the wires, let this thing hang. You only have to disconnect one on either side, this one or this one, right? And it'll hang. Let it hang. You're gonna go ahead and disconnect the O2 sensors from the exhaust, and I'm gonna show you that next, right after I disconnect these. Oh, All so right, look, so we took the one up, out. Back up a little bit, watch. Bam. This is gonna drop. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pop one of these. This thing slides on the square notch, like so. Like so, bam, like some shit like that. Anyways, you pop it off. You're gonna go down here, there's gonna be one little push bar connector. And this is, I'm pretty sure, to your clutch position sensor. Okay. Now we get, we're, we're stuck with this one O2 sensor. Okay, actually, yeah, this is an O2 sensor. So now you don't have to disconnect this because when you take out the sensor, this is just gonna hang down. So if you were to disconnect this, then you could just leave the sensor in there. So I'm gonna choose to leave the connector alone and I'm just gonna take out the, 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 the sensor and then it's gonna hang down. And this whole thing with the wiring is gonna hang down to this side so we'll have clearance, right? Because the only thing you see is holding it is the sensor. So we're gonna do that next. All right, so here's the O2 sensor. And you drop it out and now look at the wire. So, it goes, it's kind of a pain in the dick because the, the wire is attached to it. And the wire is attached to it and, and it's like it's like twisting it up as you untwist it. It likes to spin with the wire, yeah. so it's kind of tough. It wants to spin back. Alright, what's the it. next step? Anyways, next step, I would just disconnect this. This is your crankshaft position sensor. I would disconnect this because a lot of people break these when trying to remove the transmission by putting the, the transmission jack under here or whatnot. So I would take a tent that tent or uh sorry, I think it's a four. It's a number four on the uh Allen wrench key. And then you just pull this straight out and, and just put it aside. When you put your transmission back in, don't forget to put that back. So then over here, you got two clips. One of these holding the O2 sensor. You got another one holding the wire harness. And you're just gonna pull those away. Now you can tie this up, bungee cord it or something, or up out, of, out of the way, okay? Next we have this one right here. Well, we could, we could lower the transmission before disconnecting this one. Do these exhaust bolts. This is an E Torx. I think it's a number. Oh, I believe it's a number 10. No, it's a 12. I think it's an E12. Let me check. Okay, you got an E12 and then like a 14 mil on this side. You take it off with this drill? Yeah, it'll be careful. No, you should take it off with like a... I guess it don't matter. Go ahead. Now, I like to usually leave these in. But we're just going to leave one in for now. It'll be alright. Alright, so anyways, you're going to do those. It's a 14 and an E Torx 12. You're going to take all those out and then come back for the next step. Alright, next step, taking off this bracket that holds the exhaust in the middle. Now, hold on. It's not so easy. Let me show you where the bolts are located. If you look at these bars, if you follow them down, they come to a little point like that. Inside of there, there's a bolt. Now, I think I lost the original bolt, so I put a T something in there. But you get the point so you take out that bolt first okay it's a 13 it's 13 bzz, bzz. what happens if you take out these bolts first the weight of this exhaust drops down and you're not able to take these off so you want to you want to take those off first that way by the time you take this off it just falls right off but then you take these off do this side and same thing is going to fall down. That's why we leave the front exhaust bolts on. So that way this thing doesn't fall and crush you. It might fall from the back end, but at least the front will still be holding it up. So just be careful. 
So we kind of skipped a step. We took two more bolts off the back. That hold up oh, okay, the exhaust. So all the way at the bottom, at the bottom, right by the exhaust tips. There's there's like a spring. There's connected. a nut, and then there's a nut on the other side. Boom! There's, there's Undo spring. those. You're done. Yeah, but there's a spring connected to the exhaust that goes up to a nut. If you follow it, you'll see. Nah, it. and then you remove these the bolts over here. You remove the bolts over here, and you can pull it back and drop the exhaust out of the way. Anyways, once you do that, there's some covers over here. You're gonna want to remove. There's some silver covers that cover this, and there's bolts for it all along right here, and they go all the way down. You want to remove the ones that go down here too. Okay. And there's these little spin washers, spin washer 10 mils that you kind of got to spin on there. They look like these. So you got to spin them off. They're kind of paying the dick to get off. But anyway, you got those off. Now we got access to these bolts right here for the, uh, for the drive shaft. So now it's an 18 mil. You got to stick an 18 mil wrench on the back on the nut, on the nut, on the nut like so, wait, like, no. Like, like so that's the sticky part that's the tricky part is once you do that it's better to have some longer ones unfortunately I have some short guys we'll take a drill okay so anyways once you remove the bolt like i said 18 mil wrench on the back and then you remove it with the impact or something or a big ratchet you can release the e-brake so you could turn this and you just twist it by hand and then get the next bolt the get next the next bolt. bolt there's only three of them come on next we'll Keep. show you we'll show you the last one you come back here and hold it. You can do it with one person. Ready? Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. Moved a little bit. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I gotta come in here. Of course, we gotta fuck it up for the video. All the other ones were hella easy. All right, go ahead. <laughs> there we go. There All right, right off. So if you pull this, it comes. Oop, my bad. Right and off. then the nut and falls then, right in there. And the nut falls right in here. Just reach in and get it. All right, guys. So once you remove these bolts to drop the drive shaft down, you want to remove these two bolts. But be careful; it'll fall in your face. So you're gonna hold it up, and then you do them. And by the way, these are supposed to be perfectly straight, symmetrical. So whoever did this before me was a retard, because you see it's uh, angled. It's actually me that did this before, but we won't say nothing. Okay, there's the first one. There's the second one. Come fall completely out as long as you don't let it. Now what you gotta do is pull it towards you. Cause look right here. It's in the shaft. So even if I let it hang, it's like, oh, you see that? It'll fall out by itself though. So careful, this could come down and hit you. Fucked your day up. So this you can just let it hang. It's gonna touch the floor. Alright, so we have a training mount here, our training lift. Put it up to the tranny. Take out these three bolts on this side, three bolts on the other side, and this bitch will drop down. Okay, all right so we dropped the tranny there's a couple wires right here connections you drop the tranny and let it hold, hang by the bell housing bolts okay so it's hanging down by the bell housing bolts it gives you some some area to work here now so now so these wires this, drop yep pop so pop one out two out and then the third one how do we get this one no so this is one two the white one this is the third one you got to grab one hand on here and one hand on here and twist like a like a water bottle almost like you know opposite which way. one you got to twist i twist up you twist down but it's very hard to do yeah kind of need some help and then bam pull them apart easy easy to do There's not like hard two, two people but if two people is very easy two people but easy. One, one person trying to do it like this it can get really hard yeah if you have a hard time you can grab two uh, pliers and just i've done that too all right, now that you've got these bolts out of the way, I mean, these fucking wires out of the way, this one right here is clips, 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 and then comes down and plugs into here, into this, into your oil pump. So what you want to do is, here, show them. So this wire, it, 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 it's, it's just kind of in the way. It's best to remove it. So what you can do right here is pry up this little tab. Sorry. Pry up that little tab, and then you can pluck that back. Which way out? like that let it hang okay now that we got that done for okay. youtube video all right guys so if you look from over here now on this side you got one wire here one wire here which all connect to the trains so these all can come down with the trains no worries on that 
I think this one's actually fine. It comes down with the turns. It comes down with the turns. Do it again. Do it again. No, no, no. It comes down with the turns. Let me see. Let me see. Follow this wire. Where's it coming down to? Where's it coming down to? Let me follow it. Right down. You're Gucci. You're Gucci, bro. We're just gonna leave it. If you get tired, you just lay your neck on the crankshaft, guys. I mean, the, I mean the drive shaft, guys. Uh, okay, guys. Ready? So now, if you look in here, you got all your bell housing bolts right down there. Let me let me let me zoom. You see, you got my fingers in this camera. You got one, two. You see them? Three, four on the other side. And you got a, a starter bolt on the top that's already missing. Don't worry about it, my shit's working fine. So anyways, now what you're gonna do, okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove all the bolts, one by one, there's four up top. And then if you look down here to the side, you can reach, uh, you need like six, seven extensions, depending on the size they are, or two very long ones. Um, and you can reach down the side and there's gonna be one, two, three, four, and then you could do the rest from the bottom. So then you support it with the jack and then do the rest with the bottom and then pull it away. We'll be back. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five. But this one comes for two, so six. <sighs> okay, and I don't even think Once you take these out and the transmission is still hanging down, you could put the mount, uh, the, the jack under it, right? You just put the jack under it, you put it back up into its spot, and then you take out the bottom bell housing bolts. It's one, two, three, four, four bottom bell housing bolts. And then you can slowly just pull this from the backside and drop them, drop, drop them out a little bit. And you can jiggle the transmission jack off, make sure it clears the flywheel. <clears throat> one more pro tip, one more pro tip. Down. If you guys think you guys can use jacks and jack stands in the back, it is not possible. With the, with the transmission jack underneath. No, you know? it is possible, but you're gonna need uh, uh, bigger than two and a half ton, uh, three ton jack stands. You need jack stands. That yeah, are it needs to go. It needs to go way to go higher. higher. Because these even maxed out fully, e these even maxed out fully, will not let you clear the transmission with it on the mount. So what we have to do is we actually have to drop the bell housing side off the mount, and then I lifted up the transmission while laying down under the car. Right, so I'm laying down under the car, picking this up, right, as strong as hard as I could, and then it dropped. The it dropped onto the mount. So and then it couldn't the clear. It couldn't so clear under the car. So we had to drop it off of the mount once right. it was lowered on the mount right. all the way down to the ground, drop right. it onto the floor, and then drag it out. Right. But there's no way so, that you can move it unless you have taller drop jacks. Drop the housing uh, uh, side down slowly, and then you can lift this and slide the jack out, and then you're good. And then we can just drag the transmission out from underneath the car. Canoche. You Gucci, go. Canoche. But now, more thing. In case you snap your bell housing and you're wondering if you could weld it and if it'll hold, fuck yeah, you can. I've been rolling around doing donuts and fucking drifting, doing 200 miles an hour for the last two months on a welded trans. Come here, let me show you this. <laughs> <laughs> let me show you this. And this is a 500 horsepower car. Look, all the way around. Show them. So if you guys were wondering, what's that weld on this transmission? Yeah, yeah. go down on the inside. side. I got a new transmission coming, you but can I can see it. Wait. <laughs> yeah, so if anybody told you you can't, Weld a cast aluminum transmission, they bullshitted you. Go weld that shit for a hundred bucks, sucker, and we're back on the road. <laughs> hey, good night,